Vertigraph, SiteWorks OS. Vertigraph's SiteWorks OS software quickly and easily calculates cut and fill volumes for site excavation. SiteWorks OS works directly from the file and works with most file types, including DWG, DWF, PDF, CPC, TIFF, and many others. No paper plans are required with SiteWorks OS. To assist us in this demo, we'll open an example project that has been substantially completed. Once the scale is set, we'll identify areas and elevations by clicking on the Takeoff tab. The Takeoff tab is where we select the type of items we'll digitize with the mouse. Select the Takeoff type from the drop-down list. The first three items on the Takeoff list are types of areas or regions. The project boundary is always displayed and identifies the relevant areas. The cuts and fills are limited to the included project boundary. The information on the right side displays the attributes pertaining to the selected digitized item. The attributes for any item may be changed at any time. Once you digitize the project boundary, you can right-click and copy this area as a topsoil strip and or topsoil respread area. Here, we copied the project area as a topsoil strip area. We also copied the boundary as a topsoil respread and then digitized the excluded areas. Instead of copying the project boundary, you could also just digitize all of the relevant topsoil areas. The next three items on the takeoff list are the items that require elevations. Contour line, point elevation, and area elevation are items that are digitized with an elevation. The proposed elevations are shown here. To digitize a contour line, which in effect is a series of elevation points along a line, we'll enter the elevation, click the Start Takeoff button, and click along the line. You can also select the Arc command to digitize curved lines. When done, use the shortcut keyboard command or click the right mouse button to increase or decrease the elevation by the step amount. If you have spot elevations, select point elevations from the list. Enter the elevation and click on the point with your mouse. You can also enter sloped lines with the design line function. After digitizing the contour lines, point elevations, and design lines, 3D models for both the existing and proposed elevations are created by connecting all of the elevation points to each other. The area elevations are then dropped on top of this 3D model as a plane. This flat concrete slab was digitized as a surface area and the top of floor elevation. The depths of any subgrade material found under the slab are recorded at the Layers tab. The parking lot was changed to a subgrade only area where the proposed elevations are reduced by the subgrade materials entered at the Layers tab. When calculating volumes for site excavation, you can also obtain cut and fill volumes pertaining to the trenches by digitizing the length of the trench, recording the invert elevations, and providing the relevant cross-section details. A trench report can be run that shows the details regarding the trench volumes and lengths. Once everything is recorded at the Takeoff tab, we'll click on the Calculations tab to obtain the results. Here, topsoil discard or waste percentages are entered, and expansion and compression factors for both topsoil and subsoil are entered here. When done calculating, a one-page summary will be displayed on the right side. The amount and detail of the calculations are determined by the grid spacing and the resolution setting. The smaller the grid and the higher the resolution, the more accurate are the calculations. Here, we'll display the grid. At the Grid Data tab, the cut and volumes are displayed for each grid, and the cut and fill depth at the four corners of each grid are also disclosed. These results may be exported to any number of other programs. The 3D view allows you to see a 3D model of what was digitized.
When done, a collection of reports are provided. Call now in the U.S. and Canada at 800-989-4243 or visit us on the web at vertigraph.com.